Hello and welcome to another Excel video. In this scenario we'll be talking about the IF function in Excel. So I've got a list of sample data with some salespeople and their goals and their actual sales. What I'd like to have in column D is a formula that will produce a 10% commission amount for the people that have met goal and the words you're fired uh, for those that don't meet their sales goal. I know that's kind of harsh. So uh, before we start writing the formula, if you want to pause the video and set up a list of data similar to this, go right ahead at this point. Okay, we'll go ahead and start writing our formula. So I'm going to click in cell D2. And as all formulas do, we'll start with the equal sign. And in this case, we'll be using the IF function. Notice it is not case sensitive. I don't have to type it as capital IF. In fact, once I'm done writing the formula, Excel will convert that to capital letters. Every function in Excel is followed by an opening paren. So I have an open paren, which now gives me prompts to input the parts of the formula that I'm going to need to make this work the way I want. So the first part is referred to as the logical test. The logical test is a comparison of values. In this case, what I'm trying to compare or determine is if C2, the actual sales, are greater than or equal to B2, the sales goal. And that's how you write greater than or equal to. It's the greater than symbol followed by the equal sign. So if that's a true statement, if Elaine's actual sales are greater than or equal to her goal, then she deserves a commission. So to move on to the next part, because we've completed the logical test part of our formula, we will type a comma, and that's how you separate multiple inputs or arguments for your functions. So what do we want to have as a result if that's a true statement? We want a 10% amount off of her actual sales. So I'll write that as C2 multiplied by 10%. Now you can write that as 0.1 if you prefer, but uh, the, the application does recognize the percentages written this way. So far, that's what we have. So if she does meet or exceed her goal, she'll get a 10% commission on her sales. But what if she doesn't? Well, in this case, we're going to say that she's going to be fired. So with a comma, I've now advanced to the input or argument called value if false. And since I want this result to be text, I must enclose it in a pair of quotation marks. So open quotes, uh, you're fired with an exclamation point for emphasis. Just like parentheses, quotes come in pairs. So you always want to check to make sure you have an even number of quotes and an even number of parentheses in your Excel formula. So we'll do a closing paren and enter. And we can see that Elaine has granted a commission of 27500 And now I'd like to extend that formula down for the other entries. And whether I have four more entries or 400,000 entries, uh, the fastest way to do that here would be to double click the auto fill handle, the little black square in the lower right hand corner of cell D2. When I double click, it fills the formula down and we can say, see that everyone except Kramer earned a commission and Mr. Cosmo Kramer will be fired. Thanks for watching guys. Please check in again.